Why, hello there. It's raining, and I just got an achievement for uh, waking up. That's new. But hello everyone, I'm Mythic from Mythic Hawk Games. I am a songwriter, er, guitarist, and a gamer extraordinaire. That sounds weird coming from me, but hello again. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. We're on Dwarfshire. We are not on Dwarfshire Farm. We're on the Fern Islands. So, last time uh, we left off, I was uh, setting up the farm. And uh, so I uh, grinded out a bit. And I managed to collect a few more golden walnuts. How many, you ask? 20 exactly. Because I was looking online, and apparently, to unlock the rest of the island, you have to build the island resort. So I just managed to uh, get exactly 20 uh, golden walnuts. And so here we are. Oh, also, I did this. I can jump now. Haven't you ever wanted to jump in Stardew Valley? Because guess what? I can jump now. How, you ask? It's very simple. I downloaded Curse Forge and Overwolf and all of that stuff. It's a mod manager. Er, and uh, before, I had just been using Nexus mods and just doing it all by hand. But with uh, this new mod manager makes it much more easier to, uh, to download mods. And, uh, well... I now have a jump mod. I'm not sure how useful it is. It's it kind of uh, buggy, but it's also kind of funny. So, that's that. Hello, Robin. And now, without further ado... Oh, in case you're wondering, I did manage to do the gym bird quest. I literally just uh, did it, it completely uh, on accident, just putting them up putting them down and taking them up in different in orders, but I accidentally managed it. Okay, bird. It is time. Please build me one resort. Extra coziness, please. Why, thank you, burb. Question. Okay, we saw them build the houses, or like the beach resort, yeah. Where did they get the beach umbrellas and the yeah, towels from? That is the part I don't understand. I, I don't understand that part, but yeah, sure, okay. Whatever floats their boat. And now that we have this uh, built, this part of the island is unlocked. Hello. That's a note block. I'm probably yeah, just going to... Hello. Mermaid? Is that a rare Easter egg, or is that just something that happens when it's raining? Cool. Hello, mermaid. Now there should be a... Ah, uh, here it is. The Pirate's Cove. There should be uh, ways to get more uh, golden walnuts here. Eventually. I'm probably going to have to bring up the wiki to be certain, though. And <laughs> just jump around now. I am the Mario. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Just jumped on the crab. Oh, <laughs> uh, this jump mod was well worth it. Boing, 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 boing. Boing, 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 boing. I've also uh, spent a few more of our bone shards on a mighty tarot tuber farm. I'm wanting to uh, you spend uh, 
and 30 of the Terra tubers at that island trader to uh, get a TV. So I went ahead and uh, bought a few more. Just to be certain. Okay, pulled up the wiki. So apparently the mermaid is part of a golden walnut to uh, the quest. And you need to build flute blocks. Do I even uh, know how to... Mm, mm, I do. Copper. Well, I may have to go back to the valley for that one because I haven't been able to find copper in the mines. As much as I would love to be able just to run into the volcano, oh willy-nilly. For now, let us hop back on over. Now if you uh, throw your rod in here. Golden walnut. You've used your last piece of bait to catch a golden walnut, apparently. Okay, second golden walnut right here. And then uh, the mermaid puzzle. Okay, in here. Now there is... Apparently when it's not raining, pirates may show up here. But right down here... Is... Another golden walnut. Yeah, that wasn't a suspicious pile of sand at all. The rest of the golden walnuts are, uh, like this mermaid puzzle and, uh, from, uh, the big frog for growing stuff. So that, there's also one where you need a, what do you call, the slingshot. I unfortunately did not bring the slingshot with me. A, oh, wait. A maximum of five golden walnuts can be attained by fishing anywhere on Ginger Island. Cool. Maybe we could, uh, might as well go fishing then. Don't have any bait. However, more golden walnut is uh, more golden walnut, and we can sell the fish. So now that I have the this mod manager, the question is, what new mods do I get? Installing an expansion mod uh, may not be the best because as much as as much fun as Stardew Valley Expanded is, since this is an existing save, that might uh, mess a few things up. So, not sure about that, but there's bound to be lots of other fun stuff we can get. A snake skull? Uh, okay. My cat really wants to say hi, so <laughs> make sure you say hello to the cat. She's really, really trying to uh, get her attention. <laughs> Alright, since we're also fishing, and we just fished out a snake skull, maybe uh, Professor has a few more or ideas of where we could uh, get some more stuff. Oh, hello, Jim Bird. I already solved your quest, but I will take the emerald. Greetings. Yeah, that's also this is also how we managed to get some more. I no, finished the snake, finished the snake out, and got some more golden walnuts. You could find some interesting stuff in the nearby river. I don't have my pan with me because I never remember that panning exists in this game, but maybe we'll get lucky and uh, be able to fish something up. Hit! Oh, we got something. First island fish! Eat. Eating good tonight, my cat, who is sitting next to me, desperately trying to get pets. A blue discus? Okay, I can try shoving you in the CD player later. Where did the music go? This is so weird. I need my music. Ah! That's one golden walnut. 
there should be four more. Now let's do ourselves a favor and go over here. And cast a bit bigger. I might try to overlay some music from the main menu or something, because this is just so eerie, not having any music whatsoever. Fossilized spine. Hello, sir. Do you want this? Oh, we've almost gotten no, this thing filled out. I wonder what the last no, fossil we need is. Strange. You've outdone yourself, Mamba. This is one of the most pristine specimens I've ever seen. He says every time I bring him a fossil. It's still raining? I was really hoping it not to rain, to be honest. Okay, sure, whatever. Bomber, I found this recipe in a magazine and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give me a taste if you make it. Eh, 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 Shane. You know, we don't, haven't ever given Shane a good voice. I found this recipe in a magazine, and I thought it sounded interesting. Feel free to give it a taste if you make it. it, it, it. Pepper poppers. Now, that's a tongue twister. Oh, here's another one from Shane. I thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Yeah, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back room of Joja Mock. Okay. Uh, Pepper Poppers. How did we become friends with Shane? I've been uh, minding my own business here on the island. Fish, fish, fish. Four fish and fossils too. Golden walnuts would be nice. Here's a fish for you. A snake skull. Can I get like a frog, frog specimen or something? Be really nice if uh, Mr... Or Q opened up the walnut room, but no, you gotta uh, jump through several hoops before he does that for you. Boing, 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 boing. Oh, hey. Our little melon is starting to grow. So that means soon, the frog will be happy. Wait. How is this not getting put out by the uh, rain? Magic fire. Okay. Boing, 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 boing. Bouncy, bouncy, bounce. More Omni Geodes for Clint. If it ever stops raining, I could uh, get a few more golden walnuts and then head back to the valley, because dang, do I have a lot of Omni Geodes and stuff. Ooh, hello. Oh, we made a top hat. Cool. And now, we fish. My favorite fish eat dish. And a tilapia. Let's go ahead and sell all this. Maybe we'll just skip today, because it's kind of boring when it just keeps raining. Like, we got the Jim Bird quest done. I want I want sunny weather now. What I really want is the 1.6 update. But I have to wait for that. Even then, I'm hoping the that the 1.6 update doesn't just break all my mods. But since we're uh, here, let's hop on over quite literally to Mr. Q and see how many walnuts we need? Boing, boing. Mr. Q, I've unlocked a power you never have. I have the power to jump. You hear a strange voice from behind the door. Only the greatest walnut hunter may enter here. 79 of 100. We're getting close. Here's a question. Where is all of the stuff I'm 
the putting in the box to sell going. Mayor Lewis takes it from the normal little farm, but the only people here are the birds, Professor Snail, and Leo. I doubt Leo is leaving money behind to uh, and taking stuff out of the box. Professor Snail, I don't think that's something he'd bother with either. So are the birds just... Whoa. Okay. That's pretty rare to find both of these at the... Okay. Sure, I'll take that. But yeah, are the birds you know, taking stuff out and giving us money for... for uh, whatever reason? Like, there's also a birdie, but I don't think she'd be doing that, would she? I just... It makes sense if it was the birds, but at the same time, that doesn't make sense. Would it be Mr. Q? Key? Mr. Key? I don't know how to say it. Maybe it's Mr. Key. Maybe he trained the birds. I'm unsure. What I do know is I need one more golden walnut from fishing. And this is not that golden walnut. Oh, you're a antsy little fish. Boing, boing. Now, this mod right here serves no practical purpose. You don't really need to jump in this game. But you know that you want, to, you want this as well. You want to be able to jump in this game. I can hop over the box. Boing. Haven't you ever wanted to hop over the box? Not selling you two. Boing. Who, why build gates when you can just hop? Probably putting you guys in the back to the Stardew Valley. The chest. Boing, 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 boing. Now let's hop back to bed. Go to sleep. We didn't level up our fishing skill. Finally, it's sunny. So, uh, tonight, that means that uh, pirates should be here. At least that's the hope. Ah, another golden walnut. You get golden walnuts for harvesting crops as well. We're wanting to trade. We're going to put you right there. Someone and people should start showing up at the beach today. Wonder who it'll be first. They probably won't show up this early. So here's a quick hint. And for all of you people out there, are you having trouble with the fishing mini game? Do you hate the fishing mini game? That's okay. Lots of people do. So. Here's what you do. First, you cast. It doesn't really matter what the cast is. Like, if you want the fishing pole to go further out, like to hit like a specific tile of water. But otherwise, length of the cast doesn't really matter. And once you finally catch a fish, like so, some fish will act differently. Some will, like, really bounce around. Instead of just clicking and holding, just you know, tap the mouse like repeatedly, just multiple little clicks. That will will help you manage keep the fish in the green space longer. Which will help when you're trying to catch fish or trying to uh, get back to the fish after you've just gone after a treasure chest. Yeah, little little clicks to help keep the bounce the green box wherever you want it. Pro tip. How many... Okay. Parrot Express. This, from what I've seen online, this is like the teleporters all around the island. That's the Warp Tower home. Then there's a couple of parrots in the mines that have rewards as well.
There we go. That's the last golden walnut we need by fishing. Which is good news for us. When it gets to be around 8, pirates should be here. And we can win golden walnuts by you know, playing a game of darts. Now, doesn't that sound like fun? The question is, do we uh, build the uh, island teleport? Or do we uh, wait and save up for or the warp tower back to the farm? Island adventure. We're having an island adventure. Breaking rocks, ignoring the farm. Not getting mushrooms. It's an island adventure. Digging up bones for a weird guy. Island adventure. Yeah. We might need to go get air go back to the farm soon anyways to get the pan if we want to finish out this part ah uh, here we go people first person on the beach Jody the view is breathtaking deep blue as far as the eye can see oh wait one other thing I installed I didn't just install a jump mod I also installed a little mod called part of the community that might be why Shane became friends with us, now, now that I'm thinking about it. But to, with that, you gain friendship passively, like by talking to other NPCs while other NPCs are present. I don't talk to them much. I feel safe with my own kind. Leo? It's okay. Take your time. So that might be why uh, you know, Shane became friends with us. Ah, hello, Leo. Welcome to what I've been working on. The shape of the waves here are awe-inspiring. Yes, they are. I wonder if I could ever capture that sort of formlessness in a sculpture. Like, you could try. Okay, I just walked through her real... That was weird. Anyways. So she's here... Or, like... Like, uh, in a bikini. Like, yeah, that's what you wear to the beach and here I am leather jacket into a fedora like I like boots made out of a rare mythical ore one of us is overdressed and I don't think it's Leah she hasn't seen me in like two weeks and and uh, she just sees me running around the beach like like uh, and way overdressed, probably overheated as all get out, and fishing, just doing all this random stuff. She's like, yeah, yep, that's that's about normal. Hello, Emily. If you open your heart to the sun, you can feel a loving energy inside of you. Sure. I'm just going to put a pin in that. Surprised Alex and some of the others aren't here, but sure. Anyways, let's go sell all of this stuff. But it's nice to get to see some... Oh, this looks weird, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like when we're jumping, our, our arms are going down slightly in front of our face. <laughs> uh, that's weird. Nope, don't sell the ginger. You know, I wonder if there's a way to uh, get to Leah to stay with us on the island. Like, we do... Like she is married to us, so you think there'd be a way to like get your spouse to stay with with you on the island rather than just leave. Oh, here's an, uh, something I never thought of before. Now that the island resort is uh, repaired, if people like Robin or Clint come to the island resort just randomly, then that means that we're going to even have less time to uh, go or make to go over to uh, Robbins and Clint's to do stuff at the shops. Whoops. Like, we... This is something we needed to do, but still... Uh... Never... Th I didn't think that far in advance. Eh, it'll probably be fine. Drinks. Drinks. 
Island Bar, open for business. Going back to the valley? That was deeply relaxing. I think I'll make seafood tonight. You want a, you want a tilapia? I guess I could put that in the compost. Well, I tried giving you something and you could make dinner with. Okay, see you guys later. Aren't you going with them? Uh, Emily? You good? My lungs feel perfect. Why do I have six hearts with you? Well, we've definitely missed a few uh, heart events, I'm thinking, but still. Like, Willie's probably going to take them back soon. Are you sure you want to just stay here? Okay, you do you. I'm not going to stop you. Okay, 710, so the pirates should be here soon. They, they get here at around 8. Like, are you sure you're not going back to the valley? Like, I could take the boat now, and the, it would just leave. Like, it. Oh, hey, I can sit in the chair. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah. You should. Like, Emily, are you sure you don't want to go back to the valley? Like, Okie dokie. Well, I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Enjoy sleeping by the beach. 810, there should be a pirate in here. Or not. Okay, did I misread the wiki? Thought for sure there would be a pirate in, to, in here. Maybe it's only a chance that they appear. Oh, a stingray. We can trade that at the, uh, the uh, burb. Despite having a toxic stinger, these fish are shy and prefer to avoid humans. That was surprisingly easy. I thought uh, catching a stingray would be a much harder. Strange. Yeah, I honestly think she's planning on staying here the night. Like, I do have a hut, but there's only like one bed, so... Like, okay, you do you. Leo, watch out for the oh, weird lady. I'm not sure what you plan on doing with this stingray, but uh, what can I get for one? A mahogany seed. That doesn't seem like a good trade. I'm going to be honest. Just for one mahogany tree? Not yeah, sure. I'll trade. You strong-armed me. I will plant the mahogany tree. It's raining again. Intriguing. Whoa, Kent. What? Whoa. Hello, Bomber. This item was collecting dust in the tool shed. I figured you would be able to make use of it. Uh, Kent? Whoa. <laughs> like, uh, should I be concerned, Kent? I feel like I should be concerned. I'm just going to put this in a chest and uh, ignore it now. Because that's what you do with high-grade explosives. You just uh, put them in a chest and ignore them. For legal reasons, that was a joke. Please do not to deal with uh, or interact with high-grade explosives. Just don't. Just don't do that. Please. We might just go back to the valley, honestly. We need to wait for this stuff to grow, and uh, this stuff to grow. We need, need a bunch of copper for the... Da, da, da. We need to just wait for these to grow. Hmm. Maybe instead... You know what? I'm going to risk it. Let's go back to the fridge. So, in case you guys didn't know, this fridge is not just for decorational purposes. The one here and on the farm, you can actually be put, is actually like a chest, and you can put whatever inside. I, personally, I actually do put 
put food in there because, you know, it just makes sense. But, like another hidden chest. So, do with that as you will. Place food, ingredients, whatever. I do believe if you put, you can put ingredients inside them and the, the fridge and the stovetop will recognize all of the ingredients for cooking that are in the fridge. So, that is one other way to cook, rather than make, making sure you have all of the ingredients on your person at all times. You can just stockpile ingredients in the fridge. Very handy. This is one of the birds I was talking about before. He'll build a little bridge so you don't have to bring your watering can. Not as important to me, but... Like if... Like you'd... Like it... You will have to uh, spend in that money at some point, so... Like... Oh, what do you know? Copper. This might... Is that iridium I see? And a prismatic shard. Am I lucky or uh, what? There is. I don't have a mod to increase luck or anything. I'm. I'm not cheating like that. But how did I get a, 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 a prismatic shard from um, the iridium um, node? Well, my combat will probably be going up soon. And smack the flame. How am I uh, hitting flame with the sword? I don't know. There we go. Now, if we get one more piece of copper, we'll actually have enough for our, our flute blocks. Oh, hey, a mummified bat. We did need that. Unintentional rhyme. I do it all the time. Ouch. Okay, eat the salad real quick. And then turn around and smack it with your sword. Maybe today is probably a good luck day, because like we're having exceptional luck. We found the mummified bat we needed, we we got a prismatic shard, we got got some iridium. Wonder if I could hop over rocks in the mines. Since I did download this, it's our duty to test. No. In, in result, no, I cannot hop over rocks. Whoa, I can hop over this wall, though. Any, like, one-block-go-wide thing of scenery or things that I've placed, it seems. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Onwards and upwards. And smack. And smack. And smack. This is not a Vorpal Blade, but it will do just fine. Is that my Jabberwocky? The thing that's spitting flame? Pineapple Seed. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. More Iridium. Very nice. I'll take that as well. Need to get a Slime Charmer's Ring soon. Like, this is ridiculous. Especially since I have a, uh, a Slime Hutch. Like, I, sh I should probably get that. I have way too much uh, stuff here, and it's already 440. If I keep going, I'm not going to make it. But maybe I'll have time to do the Mermaid Quest. I do have enough uh, copper now, so I should be able to do the mermaid quest and show you guys. It's actually quite simple if you have enough ingredients to do the, make the note blocks. Let's let so let's bounce. Mythic said as he he proceeded to break rocks and uh, use the jump mod. Bounce, 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 boing, 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 boing. Whoa. Okay, let's heal first and then go back down there. Alright, you monsters. 
Max, 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 max. I did it! I survived! Although I nearly died. This is why you should uh, have better rings equipped before just going willy-nilly into, into the mines, like I do. Like the Iridium Band, the Slime Charmer Ring, like all good stuff to have. Very important stuff to have, honestly. Okay, now let's head on on before we uh, we get too greedy. We got what we needed. We got the copper ore. Oh, professor? Zoinks, professor. I found a bat. Now, this is a truly fascinating piece of natural history. With this donation, you've completed another full collection. I'll take that reward. Now, if I get ten more, I can just warp back to the farm. Which would be very handy. Like, being able to uh, warp to and... No, to the farm would be very handy. But at the same time, it, I still uh, don't have the necessary ingredients to warp back here, so I would still need to uh, get Willy. Okay, wood and fiber. We need lots of fiber. Okay, let's start chopping leaves down. Alright, bird. Guess what? Ten walnuts. Parrot Express. All right, burbs. Begin. Take Parrot Express to the volcano dig site jungle, jungle, jungle or docks. So it's just like the uh, warp totems, but all over the island. Very useful. Oh, here's another tip for you guys playing along with me. You go right behind this palm tree, and you get this uh, little puzzle. It's like a Simon Says puzzle. I already completed it, but to you touch the statue and then just repeat the patterns, and you get golden walnuts. Make cool music with it, too. Ah, another er, empty inventory. Another er, successful day. Let us celebrate with a bounce. 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 I'm trying to jump over the campfire, but I'm just jumping into it. Yeah, I'm just jumping into things rather than jumping over them. We can jump over this though. Bouncy bounce 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 bounce. We can jump. Oh wait, I have an idea. This is gonna be a good one, don't worry. We'll go to bed soon, don't worry. There's water here in the Gourmand on pond. Maybe we can get something cool by uh, fishing in it. Nope, just got a broken CD. Okay. <laughs> Thought we might have gotten something cool, but nope. Okay, anyways. I think that's going to do it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. If you have any uh, mods you'd like to uh, see me experience, do let me know. But for right now, I'm Mythic. And I hope you all have a wonderful old, old day. May God bless you.
and good night. <laughs> <laughs>